Hi everyone, I'm here to show you how to access ATI. Um, so first of all, you're gonna go up to your browser. The biggest thing to always remember is to use Google Chrome. Um, ATI will not work if you are using Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge um, because the linking is not connected. You can use Mozilla Firefox if you need to, but Google Chrome is the suggested browser to be using ATI in. So you can go to Google and type in ATI and you will see ATITesting.com will come up. So you'll go to the website and up here, you would click that you're a nursing student. In this case, I'm going to log in as an educator and transition myself over to a nursing student. If you click, I am a nursing student and try to log in, if you have not created an account, right here is where you would create an account and you would put in the necessary information so that you can create an account. Otherwise, you would sign in with your credentials that you needed for the TASE test. So I'm just transitioning myself to student view. So once you log in or create an account and log in, you will come to this page. Up at the top right hand side where it says return to faculty account, yours would say your name and an account. You want to click there first to make sure that you are enrolled at St. Peter's Hospital College of Nursing. If you are enrolled maybe at your T's testing site or Maria College or a different college, maybe VOTEC, you will not be able to access the ATI through the program. So you just wanna make sure that you would go to your account. Unfortunately, I can't do that here because as a, a faculty account, I don't have that access, but you would go to your account and make sure that under the school, it states that you are enrolled at St. Peter's Hospital College of Nursing. There are a lot of colleges, so you're just gonna have to scroll and um, just make sure that you save that before you get back to this home page. Once you make sure that you're enrolled at the St. Peter's Hospital College of Nursing in your account, you're gonna come up here and add product. The product number that you are going to be adding is in week one lecture of NASA. It is a code starting with CDN. Your best op option is to copy and paste that and just paste it here so that way there are no errors. Sometimes students uh, forget or add an extra zero, which will affect being able to enroll yourself in the course. Once you place the add product here, you're gonna hit continue and you will come back to this page and be enrolled in the Nursing One course. So to access your modules that you need to complete, you're gonna come up here to My ATI tab. and you will automatically be brought up here to this learn tab, but you're not gonna use this. If you do want to use some of the resources here, you can look on this achieve module. These are really helpful if you're having a difficult time. English as a second language, classroom skills, preparing for clinical experiencing experiences, study skills and test taking skills. These are really helpful for you. Additionally, as you can see here, there are some modules for pharmacology and medications. They're also very helpful for you. And if you scroll down here, your bonus for bonus points for the remain for the end of your nursing one semester are the nurses touch wellness and self care and the nurses touch professional communication. As you can see here, they are five modules and yes, you do need to complete all five modules in order to get the bonus points. Coming back up here, I'm going to hit apply. And at the top, I see Skills Modules 2.0. This is where you're gonna be able to access all of the different modules that are assigned to you in different weeks. For example, HIPAA, ARA management, um, activities, I think there's ambulation transferring the range of motion. If you see here, this little highlighted 30, that means there are 30 different modules. So if you scroll down through your web page, you can see here that there are a bunch of different modules. You will not be completing all 30 of these. You will only need to complete the necessary ones that you have been assigned. You may be using some of these in future courses or you may come back to these to refer to um, 
if you need some reinforcement or a different resource. So I'm gonna actually start down here with the HIPAA one since that's the first one that you have to do. As you can see here, there is a pretest. The pretest is not required for you to complete. It may be helpful for you to determine what information you already know about the topic. But again, the pretest is not what is going to allow you to receive your points. You can begin, usually it would look like begin lesson. I've been in this one before, so it says continue lesson. So you would continue or begin your lesson and you have a number of different resources here, overview, there are some videos, we have terminology, uh, alphabetically, we have some accepted practice, we have some step-by-step -step viewing. If you're a visual learner, there are a bunch of really great videos in here. We have evidence-based research, so some case studies on every single component that you've been assigned. At the end, once you're done with your uh, lesson, you can come up here to the close, Make sure you don't just close your entire browser or you will lose every, you'll lose, you'll lose it. You'll have to come oh, reopen Google Chrome, re-log back into ATI. The best thing about ATI is it does, it does save your spot. So based on how far you have progressed in your lesson, it does save your place so that the next time you log in, you can resume from where you left off. Lastly, your post-test. This is where you will receive your points for the assigned modules throughout the semester. Um, so please, please, please make sure that you're actually doing the post-test. I have had students in the past do the pre-test and that is not a part. If you refer, refer to your syllabus, it is the post-test. You do need an 80% on your post-test of every module in order to receive the total 30 points or two points per um, learning resource. So you would begin the test. Once you're done, say you got a 75, Thankfully in ATI, these are learning modules. So you can go ahead and retest and start the post-test all over again until you receive an 80%. Please be sure to make sure that the post-test is completed uh, by the due date that you can find on your syllabus. So for example, if your post-test of HIPAA is due on week two in lab, that means by the end of the day of your week two lab day, you need to have this post-test completed. We're looking at the actual date. So you can complete this at 11.55 at night if that works for your schedule best. But just make sure that you're doing the post-test and you need an 80% in order to receive the points. If you have other questions, refer to your course chair. Thank you so much.